If you brew coffee at home, you are definitely thinking about this question a lot. What's the best way to store coffee beans to keep them fresh for longer? Is zip bag enough or should I invest and buy a vacuum container? Hey guys, it's Alex from European Coffee Trip and in this video we'll share results of 8 weeks long study done by our Polish friend Krzysztof Barabosz that will answer this exact question. Let me shortly introduce you a person behind this project. Krzysztof Barabosz is a head roaster at Hard Beans in Opole, Poland. He loves numbers and coffee. He is a field tester of Commandante Grinder, member of SCA Poland and overall one of the biggest coffee geeks we know. For this project, he also teamed up with scientist Francesco Velasquez, who helped him to translate all collected data into a meaningful graphs and outcomes. Definitely go and check them both on Instagram. Now, if you are not interested in numbers and details of the experiment, so I will let Christoph to share the main takeaways in about a minute. But if you are interested in the experiment details, what was measured was the taste difference between coffee stored in a zip bags and vacuum containers, or how badly coffee tasted if stored on a tray. So then don't stop there and enjoy the rest of the video. If you buy a bag of coffee, like for example, 200, 250 grams of coffee, and if you are keeping it in a zip bag with like ziplock and you seal it properly and you store it in a, like quite stable conditions, like for example, room temperature around 20 and no big jumps in, in humidity, then first two weeks, you cannot feel the difference between vacuum and zip bags. You see slightly differences. The pattern is showing up in terms of taste, but I don't think it's worth to repack it and put it in the vacuum. But if you plan to keep it longer, then vacuuming is working better. So, Krzysiek, what was the motivation for you to actually uh, start this project and, and research to find out what's the best way to store coffee beans? Roasted coffee beans, right? So it started, I think, three months ago. Uh, a company who's processing uh, vacuum sealed containers asked me if I'm like keen on testing it. And I said, yeah, if, if, let's, let's make it proper way. So let's use instrument, like professional instrument, and really measure the chemical and physical uh, structure of the, of the beans. So I decided to, uh, first of all, roast the coffee and measure everything. And the next day, it was the 21st of May, mm -hmm. uh, my birthday, that's why I remember. <laughs> what uh, a present! <laughs> yeah, I, I decided to, to pack it in few uh, different sample packs. So uh, six samples were packed in the regular uh, zip bags. So that's this uh, plastic and aluminium inside uh, zip bag with valve. Mm -hmm. So here is the valve in the back, and uh, then six vacuum sealer, sealed containers, and on the copper tray. So like the last sample, and the most interesting one was like just left on a tray. First of all, like the the whole idea was to check it if opening daily, opening every three days, opening every week, every two weeks uh, is like making change mm -hmm. in taste and the uh, results from water activity and moisture content. And that's why so many samples. I had 13 samples because one vac just was opened every day. So opened, mm -hmm. measured, closed and vacuum. Other sample was like every three days, other sample weekly and so on and so on. The last one, so the last sample, sample hashtag three, six was sealed on 21st of May and opened today morning. So both zip bag was sealed and closed and the, the vacuum was sealed and closed for two months and nobody was touching it. It was like sitting on the shelf and waiting uh, for the results for the measurements. Moisture content, I was using the Sinar Bean Pro 6070 instrument. Uh, for water activity, I was using the Rotronic uh, water activity uh, matter 
also uh, I was doing and using the Colored 4 for the last readout of uh, color. And after two weeks, after four weeks, after six weeks, and after eight weeks, uh, we did a blind cutting. So we were assessing the dry aroma, wet aroma, flavor, aftertaste, uh, acidity, body, balance. Mm -hmm. The best in terms of sealing package is the regular z -Tech. Okay. Because like uh, when, we, when I packed the copies uh, on the 21st of May, the water activity level was 0.165. And in the two months sample, the average readout from the z -Tech was 0.186. And from the vacuum was 0.349. Mm -hmm. So it's like twice as big. But still, on a cupping table, uh, the, you can see the pattern, uh, which is uh, promoting vacuum. The coffee from Zip packs had higher acidity, vibrant acidity. The cups were uh, fading away more quickly. The sweetness was lower, mm -hmm. and aftertaste was like dryish, a little bit bitter. And on the other side, the, the pattern for vacuum was that the acidity was slower, but the coffee was more balanced, mm -hmm. more sweet, more round. Uh, the aftertaste was more clean and longer lasting. The coffee wasn't fading so fast. So you can feel the degradation of the aromas up on time, so from week to week, but still it's more roundy, more sweet, more balanced cup than the zip bag. Mm -hmm. The zip bag was like highlighting the acidity, but the acidity wasn't supporting the sweetness in the cup. And what's more interesting, mm -hmm. and the best results we got from a sample which was closed, vacuum opened, uh, and closed, vacuum opened daily. Really? So not like in this vacuum which was closed on the first day and opened after two months, but on the vacuum which was like daily open close and the open close and daily vacuum. Uh, we were super curious about the, the like two month closed bags. Uh, and uh, when the coffee was hot and uh, in the aroma assessment, so dry aroma and wet aroma, uh, the highest score was from the zip bag from the two month close seat bag, uh, but when the coffee was cooling down, um, it was like collapsing in the vapes. So okay. it was fading away and becoming unbalanced and uh, bitter and uh, harsh. On the opposite side, the vacuum pack after two months wasn't uh, so like intense in terms of the aroma, wasn't so like fruity. I uh, was more mild, more like round, but better like balanced. So mm -hmm. the sweet spot was there, the, the roundiness was there, and the aftertaste was very clean. So even now, today, after two months, the coffee, both from zip pack and from a vacuum container, was scoring higher than the coffee from a tray uh, after two weeks. So. For now, the most important conclusion from the study is to keep the coffee in a sealed bag, no matter what kind of sealed bag, but it needs to be sealed. Mm -hmm. And if you plan to consume the coffee longer than two weeks, you can think about the vacuum container, because vacuum container will like keep the coffee more round and more balanced in terms of cupping scores. But still, the differences are 0.5, 0.75 points on the cupping spreadsheet. So maybe somebody who had no idea what is the cupping score and, and these points. So is it the way how you can translate what, what would this difference mean for the roaster or for, for them? What can they think of? In terms of like, if the difference is like not so huge, so 1.2 points, 3 points, from the reference point of view, you just probably lost the intensity, complexity, you can still assess the descriptors. So you can still say that the coffee is honeyish, this coffee is yellow fruits, 
but the yellow fruits, for example, are not so pronounced. They are there, but they are like, for example, uh, covered by other flavors, or they are like fading away. Mm -hmm. So you feel them, but the the intensity, the the complexity, is muted. The the huge difference was on the tray. So if you don't keep in a kind of package the coffee, because then you have this kind of off flavors. So flavors which are not connected with the cup profile, which are connected to like this kind of contamination because probably this coffee was contaminated and by degradating of the uh, lipids, volatile compounds, uh, the, the, the loss of CO2, which is kind of uh, one of the bridge to, to, to showcase the aromas in the coffee cup. Mm -hmm. in the cup. Do you expect like the big differences between the different vacuum containers or it will be you expect this to be more or less similar? I believe that uh, as long as the, the container has kind of indicator that what's inside is vacuumed, I don't believe there is a, there will be a huge difference between, between brands. Okay, let me do a final summary for you. Two weeks time is sort of a threshold that justifies the investment in vacuum sealed containers. If you buy and consume coffee beans within two weeks and store them in zip bags, then there is only a tiny difference between flavors in these two. After two weeks, you start to recognize difference. Surprisingly, the best results were measured for coffee beans stored in a vacuum container that was open daily. So if you brew coffee every day, every morning for a month or more, then the vacuum container make a meaningful difference for your brewing at home. Also, there is an option of freezing coffee beans. It wasn't tested in this experiment because it was already scientifically proven that it slows down the aging process of coffee. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you learned something new today. There are also two more videos that we made recently about coffee freshness that I think you will like. One is more for professional baristas and coffee shops and another is for home users. So check them out and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video very soon. Bye bye.